you guys this video is on how to set your Honeywell locking code here. So there's three things to know. So there's a programming code, that's your master code for it all. And uh, it comes default as one, two, three, four, five, six. You need to go in and change that. And so there's a sequence to do that. In order to change that, you're gonna wanna type in the initial programming code, right? Which is one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, that, and then press unlock, and then you're gonna to wanna to press four, and then unlock again. Now press your new one. Maybe it's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Press unlock again and repeat it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and unlock. Now that will set your new master programming code. The other thing you wanna do is set a user code and with each user code, there's a user ID. So the user ID is a two digit. The user code can be four to uh, like 15 digits. So uh, let's go ahead and program one in. So I'll go ahead and type in my master uh, code first, my programming code. Okay, and then push unlock. Okay, that green light comes on. Now you're gonna go one, one, unlock. Now a new ID, let's go zero, nine. Random ID there, and then unlock. Now we're gonna add a new code. So let's go six, seven, eight, nine, unlock. Green light, that's good. Six, seven, eight, nine, unlock. Now, that's a new code, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll show you how to delete that too. So let's test it out. So I'm gonna lock it and just push lock. Okay, what was our code? Six, seven, eight, nine, unlock. Now it's unlocked. One more time. Lock. I gotta open it up. Six, seven, eight, nine, unlock. Okay, now I wanna get rid of that one. I wanna get rid of six, seven, eight, nine. All right, to delete a user ID or user code, we're gonna type in our, our programming code. And then push the unlock button. And then we're gonna push two. Two, unlock. And now the existing one, zero, nine. Uh, unlock. And then we do it again, zero, nine. Unlock, that's a good one there. So now that zero nine, that user ID should not work anymore. So that user ID was six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see if it works. So go ahead and lock it, unlock it. Let's see if six, seven, eight, nine works anymore. Cause that's what we assigned to oh nine. So let's go six, seven, eight, nine, unlock. Good, doesn't work. So that's how you take them out. You don't put in the 6789 and try to delete it. You delete the user ID associated with it. In this case, it was 09. So there's three things to remember. You have a programming code, a user ID, and then a user code. The user code in this case was our four digit. The user ID is only a two digit number and that's what we deleted was, was the 09. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to set your auto lock function. So this is done, it's really easy. It's just like the rest of the stuff, but you know, you press the five there and your time value. So we're gonna um, set this to uh, one minute and it's all in seconds now. So, um, you know, you can go 20 to 900 seconds. I'm gonna go 60. So we're gonna type in our, our personal code, push unlock, press five, push unlock, type in 60 and unlock. So let's do just that. Go ahead and type in the personal code. Press unlock. Okay, now we're gonna press five. Five, unlock. So those green lights are what we want. Now time value, 60. Unlock. Now it should auto lock after 60 seconds. So let's try it. So right now it's unlocked. I'm gonna shut it and wait a minute and see what happens. All right, just verified. It auto locked after 60 seconds. Thanks for watching.